Good evening, South Florida. It's Mike Shu. Yesterday, I told you we were going to do Triz, T-R-I-Z. It was developed by a Soviet inventor and fiction author known as the Theory of Inventive Problem Solving. Occasionally goes by the acronym TIPS or Triz. I prefer Triz. It has two basic principles. The problem has been solved somewhere by someone and there's nothing new. Eliminate the compromises. Don't accept them. So what you're doing is, is you're looking at contradictions, not uh, compromises. So two contradictions. You do this with, uh, there's a, a grid that I can show you that you figure out what you're doing, but I got a, I got a simpler approach. So TRIZ helps with a systematic approach for understanding and defining challenging problems. We can go back and look at the Concord uh, plane, the design wing. I know that um, it did three of them crash and they, they pulled them offline. True North is not a compromise. So to me, True North, if you're going to the North Pole, compass may not get you there, but the longitude on a map will. Because it's true and you will follow it and you'll end up, you'll end up to the True North point, which is the North Pole. True North in leadership means that you don't, you, you stand by your principles. You know, I, I back my people no matter what. Uh, we've all got masters to serve, and there's been times that I didn't own businesses, but I worked for somebody else, and I always have my people's back. And they were, everybody respects you for it, even if you get fired. Technical contradictions is going to be like an airbag, so we want it to be deployed quicker. Well, then people get hurt. Physical contradictions would be like a hot cup of coffee, but not so hot that... Um, take the skin off of somebody's leg like grandma at uh, mcdonald's that sued so the 39 features of the contradiction matrix you can go to triz journal.com and see the 39 features and then there's the 40 triz principles uh, or a list of all known solutions and and the inventor did this through patents patents that they had solved issues with and this is how he worked it out to actually eliminate one of the contradictions. So there's the grid. You can see each each of those on each side. I'd like to see you go look up the contradiction, um, contradiction matrix for TRIZ and actually blow this up and take a look at it. I, it's as big as I could get it. You know, I am on a PowerPoint, so you can probably go, go bigger than I can. And then you've got the 40 principles of TRIZ methods rendered schematically. So you should also blow that up and take a look at it. So the online tool, triz40.com, you see the rest of the link. Well, you can actually put in two contradictions and just follow the instructions with the interactive uh, grid. And it's a lot simpler. This is a, a, a real quick presentation. I don't want to take too much of your time, but it's a, it, it's a good, it's good for solving contradictions. And, and looking at solutions in, in that way. Probably going to do an HR series. Keep thinking about that. This popped up yesterday. This could lead to another system that is a spinoff of TRIZ. I don't know if I want to do that or not. Uh, everybody have a great night. Stay hydrated. Like us. Subscribe. Share with your friends. And don't forget about createhopeforkids.com. We're trying to help malnutrition kids get fed. And then also take a look at smallbusinessadvisor.info. That's where my blog is. Have a great day. Take care.